Number one is you you want to take the video that you would like to have a uh, search. So let me go here. Intersections match. OK, um, let me go with this video here. It says love at first sight uh, could actually be possible. Here's why. So this was um, eight. It doesn't matter how long ago it was. But if I want to run this video through one click, OK, I am going to take the share link or the URL, I can grab that share link from here, or it's the same one up here, right? Um, oops, uh, let me stop. Oops, one second. So go here and paste the link. And now what's gonna happen, it's going to upload the video and I'm gonna do a couple of your videos just because I think it would be helpful to look at some titles. Okay, intersections match. Let me go to videos. Let me go to some of the popular, I'll go to the popular videos. So this one, after a first date, call, text, or wait. That seems like a great title. So I'm going to um, share that. I'm going to get the share link, copy. I'm going to go back to one click. It's still processing the other video, but it's pretty fast. You can do a few projects at once. Of course, you don't want to overload it too much. But um, what I do is I plug in my video and then I'll wait for the output. Now, while that's waiting, I also want to talk about ClickMate, which is a game changer, okay? I'm not even sure, Jasmina or Rose, uh, Roseanne, if you even know what this is. But essentially, ClickMate is the intelligent assistant that's literally going to look at your entire uh, YouTube channel. It's going to fetch your latest 20 videos. It's going to gather and, and analyze all of the comments that have been said about those last videos. It's going to identify your niche and target audience. And then it's going to actually generate recommendations for you to uh, create and produce based on what your audience is asking and how they've been interacting. So how I'm going to do that, because it's still right now assessing your other videos. Okay, so let me go to projects. Oh, here we go. So is love at first sight real? So there was only one clip created. So I'm going to assume this is a short. Yes. So this is already a short um, video. It's only five minutes in length. What, what's great about that is being that it's five minutes in length, um, most times when people want to share a video, they will have to create copy for all of these platforms, right? So the master video is five minutes, 13 seconds. The title of this video is, Debating love at first sight, myth or reality? Now that is what was auto-generated by one click. Now, if I want to create a headline, a summary, a transcript, this is how fast one click works. By clicking these uh, icons for these platforms, create a blog, a newsletter, and create a show note, okay? And let's do a summary. As soon as you see the green checkbox, it means that an output was created. And so one click has now created a headline. So here's the headline it, it created. Is love at first sight real or just lust? Exploring the science behind instant attraction. So that's the headline. The title is debating love at first sight, myth or reality. Now, if I don't particularly like that um, title, I can hit regenerate. So by regenerating, it's going to give me a different option for that title. And what's really great is a lot of times if you have similar content that's doing really, really well um, and you want to create different titles that talk about the same subject, this regenerate button allows you to regenerate different titles around the same subject. OK, it's loading right now. So it's probably just doing some work because I've asked it to do all these things. But let's go on, go, go on over to the LinkedIn post. Um, as you can see, the LinkedIn was generated, um, Instagram, uh, got to do TikTok, got to do summary, got to do blog. So 
as it's thinking right now and generating this content, it's usually pretty fast, but I've also have it working on other projects. Now, I'm, I myself like to multitask. So I, instead of just sitting here waiting for the LinkedIn to generate, I'm going to go to the other projects now and see if, okay, so this is still processing. This one was just generated. Let me move to a video of mine that I did last night that I plugged in, okay? This video is me. It's actually in um, short form or TikTok aspect ratio. It doesn't really matter the video um, a size. The video can be uh, TikTok, it could be landscape, it could be square. As long as the video has a YouTube link, a Vimeo link, a, a Google Drive link, you can put that link into YouTube. So if you see here, the original video that I created was nine minutes and 26 seconds. In fact, if I go to my YouTube channel right now, um, Carmelia Ray, I'm actually live right now, so it's, it's showing this, but this one is, it's here, content creation tips. One click expert shares top content creation strategies and tips to grow your business. Now, interestingly enough, the minute I did that video, I I was able to plug that video into one click. And I usually upload my videos on YouTube now as unlisted. Then I put that video link into one click. So one click actually generates the titles for me, which is great. Instead of having to, you know, think about this title, then put it into YouTube, I actually put it in under unlisted. I run it into one click and I pick the title I like. This one said maximum if, uh, efficiency, one click's impact on content creation. Let's go to the headline. Actually, I said, experience the life-changing power of one click, transforming video editing and copywriting forever, right? There's a summary, LinkedIn. So you can see how fast um, one click is actually creating these different um uh, content copy for all of the major social media platforms. We have LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter slash X. We have TikTok. We have threads. In the threads, it actually gives seven different threads, not just one. And then we have a blog, a newsletter, and the show notes. To be honest with you, the show notes are amazing. Um, if I give you this example again of one click, I posted this video before it went live um, as unlisted. I ran it into one click and then I used the one click uh, title suggestion. And then if you look here at the episode summary, join Carmelia Ray, content queen, content entrepreneur, by all blah, 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 main takeaways, lighting and sound are crucial, smartphones with decent cameras, get started, use tools, resource materials mentioned, um, contact information and credits. That entire format was done by one click under show notes. So for me, that was incredibly valuable. And I was able to copy and paste with some editing because one click is spelled C-L-I-Q. So, you know, if all it takes for me is to go in and edit one click, as it's mentioned several times here, I mean, that is nothing compared to what it would have taken me to actually write down this entire show notes process. So as a content creator of somebody who creates on YouTube, having these show notes are invaluable. I really love the structure and I love the fact that resources are mentioned, it's formatted, there's contact information and there's credits because you always want to give credit to where it's due if you're using a photographer, a makeup artist or whatever. It's wonderful for collaboration videos, okay? So we'll go back to the projects and see where Jasmine is at. Okay, so this is still taking time to process, but I'll go back to this original video here now, okay? And let's see if um, it is going to generate a uh, outcome. And it's likely, I'm gonna close a few tabs of mine. It's likely because I, on my computer, I always have like a gajillion tabs open. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons uh, why uh, it could take longer. Now, Rose, Roseanne or Jasmina, yeah. do you have any questions at this point right now from what I shared with you guys? 
Oh, uh, so far. Rosie's Jupiter None. question. Yeah. Oh, okay, can I ask R Rosie, I want to ask you a question. You know the video that I initially gave to you um, to run through one click? I'm wondering if you can get that to Carmelia. Um, do you, can you access it or not? It's, uh, it's the one that I did with, um, it's the one that's like, like an hour. It's like, it might be an hour long. It's a longer one. It's, uh, that one I did with, um, uh, SEMA, S-E-E-M-A magazine. Do you have that by any chance? I think it's the only one that I had you run through one click before this. Um, let me double check because my free trial is done already. Oh, okay. It's just, okay. All right. Even if the free trial, and even then, if the free trial is done, it would probably you could still probably access it. Uh, it doesn't take anything away, so you you can check and log in. Um, so let's take a look at the LinkedIn output. I really love the LinkedIn output, and number one. For my audience, and I'm pretty sure for your audience as well, Jasmina, I work in the you know luxury space, uh, work with high level CEOs, entrepreneurs primarily, and so LinkedIn is a powerful platform to find our target audience. So let's see the output here. Is love at first sight real? Let's dive into the science and psychology of attraction. Have you ever wondered if love at first sight is just a romantic notion or a genuine phenomenon? In this compelling discussion, experts explore the complexities of human attraction and the role of our brains playing in forming connections. Here are some key takeaways from the conversation. One, lust versus love. I'm going to skim through. I'm just going to go through titles. Two, biological factors. Three, brain systems. Four, gender differences. So is love at first sight a fleeting fantasy or a real possibility? So it asks questions. Then it does an audience engagement. What are your thoughts on love at first sight? Share your experiences and opinions in the comments below. Love at first sight, psychology of attraction, relationships. Now, what do you think of this output? Oh, for me. Oh, I think, um, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. Go oh, ahead, Rosie. It was nice because um, the... You can, uh, you, um, the, the explanation or the description in LinkedIn post is so fast. So you don't need to think of any other descriptions oh. because, um, one click gave it already. Yeah. And let's look at these show notes. Episode summary. Thought Again, it's all main takeaways. It's got takeaways. It's got resources mentions. It's called a call to action. It's got contact information that you can place in because if somebody, if it's a piece of media and someone wants to contact you, it's there. It's got credits, right? Um, obviously, if 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 the credits or the host is inaccurate, that's a simple fix. You can just go in and fix it, right? Um, so that's amazing. And let's look at um, LinkedIn. Again, this was prompted every single social media tool a prompt expert engineer that understands the AI platform and understands what the creators are asking for. What do we want? We want intelligent, smart copy in our voice to appeal to our audience, um, utilizing the best practices for every social platform. So you'll see that LinkedIn posts are specifically um, organized and, and structured and created for the LinkedIn platform with takeaways and highlights and audience engagement. You'll notice that um, Instagram will have its form. TikTok has its form. Each of these includes relevant emojis where it's, where it's relevant, the most relevant hashtags, and the best compelling titles. It was programmed to do that. And the, the quality of the output, I will have to say this, the quality of the output is largely dependent on the quality of the interview and the conversation. So if you do not have a great interview or a great conversation, the output is basing it on what was said, you know, translated in, in verbal to written, and then producing that output. Because oftentimes what I'll notice in output, they'll actually even be quotes. Jasbina Alawali, you know, um, celebrity matchmaker or South Asian matchmaker said this, um, you know, her guest, Carmelia Ray said this. So 
So it's actually even pulling intelligent quotes within the body of your work, whether it's in the blog, it's in that longer form content. Um, so that's really great. This is only a five minute video. So I'm gonna go back to a project once again. Okay, it's now done your navigating post-date communication. But if you look here, this one video, Navigating Entrepreneurship, I had an intern, his name is Alex. He interviewed Brad Lee recently. Brad Lee's a major um, influencer, mindset coach, power guy. This was cut into 14 clips. I showed Alex yesterday the power of this platform and how now he technically has 14 blogs, actually, not even technically. He has 14 blogs, 14 newsletters, 14 LinkedIn posts. So it's literally 11 outputs per video. So we're talking about 14 times 11, 154 pieces of written, thoughtfully written, created content for every major social media profile. So this solves omnipresence, um, being able to write and create copy for all your platforms. And if you noticed, these videos are cut, 357, 509, um, 513, uh, some are 607, 62, uh, 46 seconds. They are. We are working on the highlights feature. Highlights are going to be videos that are under two minutes. And so it's finding those segments within the big body of work that can isolate and segment those, in, those important conversations according to what was mostly talked about in this video. So if we look at the title, Navigating Entrepreneurship, Providing Value to Connect, this segment is about maximize money, time, and attention, the key to value. This talks about billionaire's dreams, Brad's journey to financial success, navigating real success beyond social media hype. The beauty about this is if I go to the overview page, okay, there's a, a, a way that you can see all the videos in an overview. And now you can see the titles in this format as well. So as you get to understand the app, and the behind the scenes and what this has the capacity to do, you'll quickly realize that, wow, creating content and distributing your content and sharing your content has never, ever been easier or more efficient. I have been a content creator now since 2010 when I started to launch my own brand, CarmeliaRay.com, and I blogged and I had to, I, I actually did my first one, dating11sextips.com. And I had to write and write and write. I love video, right? And so for me, if I just had one click and plugged in my videos, I would not have had to do any of that. So I'm just glad it's here. I, I, I don't know where I would have been at this point in my career if I had one click 10 years ago, but it's never, it's never too late. So let's go back to um, Jasmina's first project, which is, so now, We've got the master, which is post-date communication, when to text him, but it created two segmented smaller sections. So this one is navigating post-date etiquette, texting, and gratitude. So let me click, again, in order to generate an output, you simply take your mouse, you click on what you want done, and that's how fast it is. So let's look at the headline suggestion, the etiquette of texting, after a first date, how long should you wait? Okay, um, summary. This video addresses the uncertainty and etiquette surrounding communication after a first date, particularly from a perspective of a woman who enjoyed the date. So it's got a summary here. Let's look at the LinkedIn post. When it comes to waiting for a text after a great first date, there's a fine line between anticipation and uncertainty. Here are a few insights to navigate this dating dilemma. Patience is key. Focus on yourself. Gratitude matters. Respect personal boundaries. Timing is everything. Remember, it always has a summary. Dating can be an unpredictable journey. Be open-minded. Stay true to yourself and embrace the process. Have you experienced the waiting game? Share your thoughts and experience in the comment below. Dating etiquette, modern dating, love and relationships. Jasmina, how long would it would have taken you or anyone on your team to write that copy? Like, just realistically. Definitely longer than one click. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's say definitely longer than that. Can I can I ask you a question? 
I yeah. love this with the video. Is there a way we can get onto my site and can you show me what can be done with the um, with the audio? Because we have tons of audio on the site in terms of the podcast and things like that. Can we? Yeah, you simply what, what go to one click. Okay. You have to just download the MP3. If okay. you have an MP3, you put the MP3 in here. Okay. Or I'm pretty sure. Um, see. MP4, MOV, MP3, WAV file types. So you can put that in here. You can put MP3s. Let me see if I can find an MP3, MP3. No, you know what? You know what would be super helpful? Can you go here. to the website? Go to intersectionsmatch.com. Go to, uh, I'll navigate you through this. And then I'd love for you to see, because I just want to make sure Rosie has what she needs. So, if you went to intersectionsmatch.com and then you went to the um, you went to the entertainment channel and just pulled up any of those interviews, any of those radio show interviews, I'm wondering if that's the format. Hold on. So where do you want me to go? Entertainment channel? Yeah, I don't know. Hold on. Let me talk radio. Um, talk radio. Yeah, I think go there. And then I'm hoping you okay so let's see huh okay recent interview okay so maybe recent interviews okay um if you go to one of them see if that is a format you need and meanwhile rosie while she's doing that were you able to find that sema in radio video or not the um there's no schema but i do eat um other videos from you the optimizing online dating no okay huh one. okay let me do here we go here we I go guess, okay I, so okay. hold on well, she's, let me let me find that okay so any of this what what has to happen jasmina is that i need to be able to have an mp3 okay, okay for this okay. i can't pull a url from here i need the mp3 right? You need the actual MP3. Yeah. You need the MP3, okay. just like you need a video file. You need to plug in the MP3 into one click. Okay. So here, okay. Uh, let me hear this. Okay. So this was an MP3 that's 29 seconds long. Okay. Um, and I was, it's actually from 11 labs. I was just testing male voices and I gave a little script. So just from this MP3, it's, it's going to give me headline summary title. It'll be interesting. Cause it says here, high status dating. Let's hear it. It's talking about setting healthy boundaries. Okay. So, um, let me go back here. Headline. Again, no matter how short, I plugged in a 30-second testimonial for another matchmaker and it created an entire testimonial post. Like the output's amazing. Um, but Jasmina, I'm gonna go through this clickmate with you right now because this is one of the most exciting things. Um I had it do my channel. So basically, here is just a bit of a snippet of my channel. It fetched 20 videos, 169 comments. It identified my niche, the topics, professional matchmaking, personal branding, dating strategies, integration of technology, special events. But here is the most powerful part. When we talk about having an intelligent assistant, right now in the future, what we're building is we're just going to talk to this and say, hey, what are, can you analyze my last 10 videos and, and give me some content ideas for my next 10 videos, right? So... The, it gave the main, the comments and videos and titles reveal that Carmelia Ray's audience is diverse, but unified by common interest in effective matchmaking, personal development, and sophisticated lifestyle. Viewers respond positively to content that combines luxury elements like fragrances with practical relationship advice. Men in particular are seeking guidance on sexual dynamics, while women are more engaged with the emotional and psychological aspect of dating. There's also a clear interest in how technology can enhance personal experiences. So look at these interests, luxury lifestyle, practical dating, relationship dynamics. It's giving me 
titles and segmentation, recommendation, luxury lifestyle as a relationship catalyst, sexual dynamics and dating strategies, including titles of potential videos that I should shoot in the future, building emotional intelligence, embracing tech for personal growth, gleaning wisdom from successful interviews, what relationship lessons can be learned from successful entrepreneurs, what insights can experts offer? And then it gives me video titles, love lessons from the top date from the top dating insights from successful entrepreneurs, balancing acts, how high achievers manage love and leadership. Like I, I did nothing. All I did was plug my YouTube channel in there. So let's do that for intersections match. And let's see, it's going to do an analysis. Now, even though you have not done videos in a while, it will um, still analyze your last 20 videos, no matter if it was eight years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, doesn't matter. So right now it's going to be thinking. Um, and then we'll look, take a look at what that output is. But this is literally, okay, so see, it's already saying 19 videos fetched, 57 comments were fetched. It's now going to analyze your niche and target. That'll be very interesting. Um, but now, Jasmina, you don't have to worry about what should we create next? It's literally going to make those suggestions for you. It's going to segment them for you. And it's even going to include title suggestions for you. But what what's great, again, for, for me that I've noticed how I'm using the one-click output is, once again, if this is a good title, Navigating Post-Date Etiquette, Texting and Gratitude, well, let me try another option for a title. By just regenerating a title, it's going to give me multiple titles and ideas to create content, similar content under a different title. And you can just add a different spin, a different example, a different story. So you're never, ever conceivably going to write, uh, run out of content to create or ideas because of one click. And, and again, the tips, the takeaways, those are all things that can be tweetable. It's actually even giving you the tweet. So you don't have to think about what a tweet is or what a thread is. It's it's insane. It's, it's, it's mind blowing in my opinion. So um, are there any other questions that you have um, regarding what one click? Yeah, you know, while that is generating, which I'm really excited to see. What oh, that it's is actually here now. It's okay, here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's cool. take a look. Okay. Um, Intersections matches YouTube channel focus on dating relationship advice matchmaking, particularly highlighting the process of insights provided by founder Jasbina. Topics, matchmaking and dating process guidance, strategies for successful first dates and continued dating, overcoming personal barriers and finding love, insights and tips on relationship dynamics, recognizing and responding to red flags and toxic relationships. The target audience is primarily single adults who are looking for serious relationships and might be facing challenges in dating or finding a partner with a particular appeal to those who value expert advice and are open to learning about self-improvement. So now it's, it's giving you an overview, your main areas of interest, post-date communication, overcoming dating games, self-reflection, role of empowerment, and the concept of love at first sight. And so now it's giving you these recommendations, the modern quandaries, some video titles, text call or wait, after the first date, modern do, do, uh, don'ts and do's, cutting through the dating game, Hate dating games? Try these straightforward strategies instead. Reflecting on personal growth, the attraction of empowerment, and love at first sight. Like you can see, this is, you can take this back now with your team, with your producer, with your editor, and you can have like, what do we want to make for TikTok? What do we want to make for YouTube? What blog do we want to write about? Are you seeing the value in the intelligent assistant, um, Jasmina? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Can we do? Can we do one thing that I keep saying that because this is a long video. What I want to see is what is the output generated with a long video. So I texted you, Camelia, a link to the long video. It's not on our YouTube channel. Okay. So I texted it to you. Can Let's you? See. So you take that. You take that URL or you take that uh, link and you run. You can just put it through one click, right? Sundays yeah. with Seema. Okay, so there's yeah. a Vimeo. Okay, so hold on a second. It looks like it. Can you email that to me? Because my yeah. phone isn't connected to okay. my computer. Okay, give me a second. Yeah. It's Seema.com Sundays. 
Okay, so let me see. How long is it? Uh, it's. I think it's over 40 minutes. It's definitely over half an hour. Hold on one second. Let me copy it and ship it in an email. Um, oh, Sundays with SEMA. Was it a recent one? Uh, I think it was last year. Okay, Carmelia oh, Ray Gmail. Gmail. So I'm just gonna put. So I wonder my... if I can if I can if I can find you here, Jasmina. Okay, I just emailed it too. Okay. Oh, so, here I found it. <laughs> so here you are, Sundays with Sema. Now, if it's Vimeo, then I should be able to just get that link. So I get the share link. Okay, it's only 23 minutes, so that's. Oh, okay. That's long, okay. It's long form, but it's not crazy. Uh, so, okay, so copy. So let me pause. Let me plug this 23-minute video into one click. Again, this is all what you can do. Um, did you sign up for the monthly or annual yet, or were you thinking about that? Yeah, no, Nathan's going to send me that um, Monday, I think. Monday. Okay. Which one are you doing monthly or annual? The annual. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll actually text it to you. So um, it's fine. You can do that whenever. Um, for those who are listening, anybody who is a referral of myself or Jasmina or any, anybody who is a one click uh, affiliate, you actually get the plan for half price. If you go to the site right now, the premium will be one ninety nine, but with our um, code, you can join for half the price. And then we have a very special offer, which won't last long. I think it'll only go till the end of the year. Is it's nine ninety nine for the entire year, saving you two months. And frankly, for nine ninety nine, that's that's less than the amount of money I pay my editor. Okay, for the entire for one month that this thing does for a whole year and I have multiple edits, but I haven't, I haven't let go of my editor or my copywriter. They just are able to produce more content for me. So that's the other thing. Sometimes people are concerned, Oh, is this going to, you know, of course some people can save money um, and they uh, don't have to have a lot of hours on copywriting. The reason I, I mentioned that about LinkedIn, I'm a fairly fast writer, but to, to write something well, I'm at the length of words, like 500 words or whatever. Uh, I'm a pretty fast speed, but again, that would probably take me about half an hour. Um, longer form pieces would take me at least an hour and I have to research and I've got to think about what are those takeaways, right? What are the, um, the overarching message that I want to think of? The most important part of content and copy always is the, the headline, what, what, what you want people to know about the body of work and then making sure that the tips that you provide are relevant um, and actionable and shareable, right? Are people going to be able to follow your advice, uh, take that advice and actually apply it? Uh, so those are the kinds of things that make content uh, shareable and um, viral, right? Things that are easy to, to share and implement and effective. 